Hi, I'm Haas. I'm Elena, and I will go to Sankop Station with these girls here. And now we're preparing food, our breakfast, to be full of power for the day. And yes, <laughs> that's what we do every day at 7 a.m. <laughs> Virginia. I'm working at the Sankop station too and I'm 19 years old and from Germany. Anastasia. I'm 18 years old and I'm also a Sankop volunteer. And now we are at the Sankop. And what's our job? We save seabirds. Here it's like a small museum for school classes or youth. Station towels are very important, that's why we have to wash them every single hour. <laughs> so at the beginning it's always a little bit hard to get used to the smell by fish or touching the fish like this one. But you, like I really get used to it really quick. I don't even smell the fish. The people in the house do, <laughs> but not me. And actually, I don't have a problem right now with birds because it's part of my job and they're already there, so it's actually really okay. Help her with the <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so the reason why we need so many towels is because we need everywhere towels. So for the penguins in the cages and for the underground so they can lay down and they poop so much and we must wash every day. Josh is cutting the fish right now, like this. <laughs> we take off the little fins and the tail, and then we cut the. again and again and again and again <laughs> that's not my favorite part of the Sankop station but we have to do this it's very important for the penguins at the beginning it was hard but now I got yes. used to it it's not that hard to put it in because you only open this oh. take it inside <coughs> The it's okay. So now I'm looking for my oil skin because when we feed the penguins, we really need the oil skin. Otherwise, they will poop on your shirt and on your trouser, and I don't think that someone wants this. So this is a good protection for that and protection for getting bite, bitten on the laps or something. So always wear oil skin.
have I checked the list how many fishes he gets and if he gets medication fish. But this one only gets three fishes. <laughs> I'm afraid of fish and as you all know penguins eat fish every day they have to eat it so I think I wanted to overcome my fear of fish and I did it I overcome my fear I'm so proud of myself it's a cool story nobody told us the animals like penguins in South Africa. It's a cool thing because I never expected that. Me too. Number 17. Little. 50. Mango. But wait, wait. This is bad one and he is blind so he can't yeah. see so he only knows that it's food but he doesn't know where the food is so you oh, must feed him. It's big but he doesn't yeah. want always. So that's the problem. And elbow. But he's so sweet. Yeah. Patients. Everybody of them had a disappointment or is sick and can never be back in the wildness. So he, they will all stay forever here. Bye. <laughs> 